Welcome and welcome back. Today we're talking about state board finger waving. If you want to pass your state board exam, you're going to need to know how to do finger waving. So first things first is we're going to mold our client in the direction that we want our finger waves to go. And when you mold, uh, it's all you're doing is taking the product and saturating the hair from root to tip. And we are going to comb that product in so that the hair lays down as flat as possible. Make sure when you do your parting for this service, you, uh, if you're right-handed, you're going to part on the left. If you're left-handed, you're going to part on the right. So first things first, when we're doing our finger waves, we're going to take our index finger to secure that first ridge. And then we're going to take our comb and we're going to press our comb downward towards the face. And then we're going to push that comb upward towards the finger and switch fingers to secure that ridge. And then we're going to comb the hair back in the direction of the next wave. And we're going to keep that process all the way until we get to the apex. Now, when you're doing this, the first ridge should come at a diagonal from the arch of the right eyebrow to the center of the apex. That way, when you get to your next ridge, it connects flawlessly. It's important not to stack this style. You're gonna to wanna to go from side to side. So I did my first ridge and I'm gonna come on the opposite side of the client's head and do the same process all the way around. And this is basically how you do finger waves. You just go back and forth with the same motion and keep symmetry. Pay attention to the ridge and which way it's going. If you're having problems, make sure to um, use the back of your comb to smooth out the um make sure you use the back of the comb to smooth out the ridge so that you can have a clear eye of where that ridge is going and if you are having problems just take a moment step back so you can take a look throughout this service you are going to have to saturate your client a number of times um, with product or water Water does activate product, so keep that going. And see right here, I almost started stacking, but I caught myself before I did it because it's that easy to get lost in this service, to be honest. I'm not going to lie to you, when I first did finger waving, I cried. I was so frustrated with this service, I cried. But persistence and practice, and now we are here. <laughs> So don't give up on it. If you want to pass your state board exam, you have to do this.
your FOIA state board exam, when you're doing your finger waves, you can't leave the edges. You can't leave the sideburns and the back untamed. You have to do something with it. A lot of teachers say to pin curl it, which is a really good idea. And that's basically what I'm doing here. It's a quick little, little pin curl without the pins. is you can use two combs to help you guide your ridges because two combs are very helpful because it can you can hold it a, a lot more secure without you know the worries of the product getting stuck to your fingers or anything like that. And here's our end result. It is flawed. I do have a lot of practice to do. There's gaps, but it is a really good finger wave set. And we did that good. Thanks, bye. <laughs>